Hello and welcome to Zachary North 3 TV. And today we are um I'm using my screen recorder there. Um we are uh, going to uh be uh doing how to do chrome uh, metallic effects in uh GIMP. So uh first off we're gonna get our templates. And I have my templates organized in a folder. And I'm going to go, and because I'm going to make a scheme that is uh, specific for the ICR mod and the, uh, uh, and it has to be an Acura. So I'm going to go ahead and use that. I'm going to open that up in GIMP. And uh, GIMP's starting up for me, which is good. Okay, now it's opening up. Uh, I am going to get a couple notifications here where uh, it's uh, asking me a couple questions. Well, oh, wait, maybe I guess not. Uh, I guess it'll open it up already for me, maybe. I don't know. Okay, we're going to wait for that to pop up, and we're going to click it well, once it's ready. Um, the reason it's taking so long because uh, this specific mod and all that, it's, it's a pretty big file. It's a little bigger rest than most templates because it's the ICR mod, and there, there's our uh, message, and uh, that'll be repeat so and uh for me it should load up depends on your gpu whatever but uh uh, uh this is mine so <laughs> yeah that works great uh our information using the acura for the icr mod make three the notice we're gonna turn that off and you know as i've said is is obviously we're just gonna focus on uh making the Gradient, we need a little contigs issue, contingencies issue, but uh, we're not really going to focus on that because this is just a how to get your stuff done in uh, GIMP tutorial in terms of making like a um, uh, effect for uh, doing your uh, uh, gold chrome, eff or not gold, but uh, well, you can do gold, but uh, chrome metallic effect effect. So, uh First off, we're going to add a new layer. I don't know if you've seen, but I clicked this button down here. It said create a new layer. And there's another thing up here. Well, it's best to use that. But if you don't have that, you can right-click an image. And up here kind of it'll say create a new layer. And you can click that. And I'm just going to do this. And then I'm going to name, I'm not going to mess with any of this. Make sure the width and height is the same as the resolution of the template you're making most of them are 2048 by 2048 this one is 4096 by 402048 but uh when i do export this scheme when i'm done which i won't record but it'll be 2048 by 1026 or 1024 i think and um, we're gonna name this black because what color we're gonna make it um do not skip this it may seem unimportant, but it is very, it's, it's a part of how to get it. So you need, you, it's, you need this to get your chrome metallic effect. So, um, I'm not thousand percent sure if you can use your base layer, but better safe than sorry, just add a new layer and I'm going to add another layer and this will be what we put our path or object on to get the, uh, chrome metallic effect on and we're going to name this uh, path because it's one of be using the path tool it's really called the uh, well yeah it is called the path tool uh, that's cool but um yeah i'm gonna add a couple rulers that way i can get my uh stuff aligned good i'm gonna if you don't have your ruler turned on if you and if you want to add linear guides you can just click Control r and it'll show rulers and just drag down and put them where you want to kind of align it to a certain point in the wireframe uh, that is symmetric or that is aligned um, uh, the same way on both sides of the car when you're designing them. And uh, you could do one side. Um, 
Uh, there's no problem with that, but I'm just going to do both because it's quicker and easier, and there's no problem with that either. Uh, I find it easier that way. I don't have to do two whole paths in one thing. And um, Yeah, so that, it's just a mess, but I'm just going to do this. I'm going to go ahead and uh, make my path. Just give me a second here. I'm actually going to use this design for the car I'm going to make. I'm going to make a car out of this that I need that I'm going to put in my off season series for I own an Air 1003 Sim series. So this this is for an off season series and it's going to be a the car I'm making for that. I'm going to use the metallic chrome effect on that. So uh uh, I'd call that good, and uh, you can do whatever shape, whatever crap you want, and it'll it'll look good. So, yeah, um, we're gonna go ahead and uh, be a pretty good idea to give this a fill of. Uh, you can right click, go to paths, right click the path, and click fill path, and make sure it's on white. You can also do it from here manually in the uh, um, properties. You can put fill path and as well and. You, you do you so yeah um we have that white now and now we're gonna get into the stuff so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna merge down our path to our black layer or our blur we made black and we're gonna give go to filter blur gaussian blur we're gonna get it gonna set it to five take away that five would want to be pretty pretty accurate there and uh it's gonna do or gives you gaussian blur and now you can see is blurry which is what we need and uh now we're going to um uh click select and then by color and we're gonna click anywhere on the black space okay so that's good. And next, we're going to add a new layer. You can call this anything you want, but I'm going to call it Chrome. And this is where we're going to put our uh, main thing. Don't delete any of your other layers, however. this It's it's very important. So um, our selection will go to this layer, which is what we need. And then uh, um, we're going to change our colors a bit. We're going to add a light lightish gray and a dark darker gray and that's for if you want a metallic effect um if you do want a different color there's a step longer into this where you can do that a little bit easier um it's probably a good idea to do it like this first and and then later on in the tutorial we'll get into where you can change the color of it a little bit better and uh yeah, and you can play around with it a little bit better and easier than having to do this over. So, yeah. Um, and now it looks good. Um, we're going to add a gradient. And uh, make sure it's good. And I'm going uh, to make it go side to side because I'm doing the whole thing. But if you're doing like just a side, you can really do whatever angle you want. But... Um, if you're doing just one of the sides of the car, but I'm because I'm doing both sides, I'm going to make sure I'm aligning it pretty close to the middle of it. I have an old gradient on. Okay, I think I skipped a step. Uh, this is not supposed to be the case. Um, that, that does look cool though. Um, probably mark this down, but uh, drop shadow would probably be better with that. Um, so I skipped a step. Um, I'm going, I'm supposed to select none. Okay. Yeah. No, wait, wait, hold on. Uh, where do I go? Okay. So I don't know. Did I actually select the, select the white? Okay. Let's see. Um, let's try this again. It's weird. Change it to our gray. I have it on gold. Uh, that, that looks cool, but this is not what I'm looking for. Um, <clears throat> pardon me. Uh, 
Oh, oh, I know what I did. I know what I did. I forgot uh, something. So I'm going to click Control Z. Um, and it's good to know Control Z. Um, I'm going to go back to where I had my gaging blur. Okay, so yeah, we're going to, this is where we're at. So select my color. Then click the black. And this is what I forgot. Select um, invert. And that's what my problem was. And uh, now we're going to go back and add the chrome. Not a layer group. You don't need a layer group. We're going to add our chrome. We have our chrome now. And the selection should co copy to that. Okay, and now we can add our gradient without any issue. So I'm going to kind of line it with the wireframe as said before. And there we go. That's much better. Let's do that. Perfect. Perfect, 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 perfect. Can make sure it's all perfect. Make sure that's all aligned. And then we're going to... Click the tool to get off of the gradient tool. And I'm going to select none. And then I'm going to go to filters. Um, map. Bump map. And uh, it's very important. Uh, click the question mark. Click it once. And scroll down to your black layer. We'll try that again. My gimp's a little silly, likes to do that. And that's good. Um, usually, usually I'd have this turned off, but it's not entirely necessary to have that backdrop turned off. And because I'm doing both sides, um, if you're just doing one side and you're going to copy it to the other side, you can just do it whatever angle you want. But because I'm doing both sides, I'm going to do 180 degrees for that azimuth. I think that's what it's called. And then I'm going to click OK. And as you can see, there's a little bit of an edge to our thing. So that looks cool. Um, but we're not done yet. If you want to leave it like that, you can, by all means. But there's still more to go. So um, now we have that. We're going uh, to go into now. It's going to start looking kind of good. So we're going to go color, colors, or colors window, window thing, whatever. And then we're going to go to curves. And it's a good idea to have your preview on. If you can't because your GPU, I'd probably just play around and maybe try your best. But yeah, just play around with this. Um, I'm going to do curve-like kind of thing. And yeah, give it a second to load up. That looks cool. Um, I'm going to edit this a bit. Uh, yeah, I don't think it's doing anything. So, um, I like that. And you can just play around with this. Just make sure you enjoy it. And make sure you're kind of comfortable with it. Um. Yeah, that's a bit better. So I'm going to click OK. And that looks cool. So, um, and now I'm uh, going to go to Colors. Uh, and again, you can stop at any time. You can even stop here if you wanted to and leave it like this. But um, there's a little bit more to it. And you can go to Map, uh, Colors Map, Alien Map. Click OK. And zooey mama, that looks nice. So that's cool. So, um, and now what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate our layer. We're going to right click, duplicate layer. And now we're going to select a gradient that might look cool on this. Uh, let's try. Um, Let's try uh, 
Let's see what they got. Try it. Skyline. See what that looks like. And then we're gonna go to. Uh, then we're gonna go to colors. Map. Um, gradient map. And then we're gonna. That's, and just give it a second and load in. And I mean that looks cool, but it's not exactly what I'm looking for. So you can I'm gonna do Control Z. I'm gonna make a kind of a custom gradient. I'm gonna use a um, yeah. I'm gonna go to custom gradient. I'm gonna go to FG to BG, and then we're gonna change the colors to let's do green. And uh, blue. Let's try that. And then that, that looks really clean. You can see on the side there, it's even got cyan in the middle. So, and then we're going to go colors, map, gradient map. That looks kind of cool. I mean, it could have been done a little bit differently, but that, I'm going to be honest, that does look a little bit like a regular gradient. But you can tell on the size there, it kind of got the gaijin blur in it, which gives it a cool effect, don't get me wrong. So, um, but if you want to just do your chrome, just do it like that. It, it really depends on how sh how you do your color lines or your curve lines. It kind of also plays a place in it. That's not, for the car I'm going to make, that's not the color I want. I actually have a preset gold um, gradient that I want to use, and uh, I'm going to use that one for this. And... Uh, and uh, that's going to be good. And uh, we're going to um, use uh, colors, map, gradient map. And we're going to let that load in. And to get the gold gradient, I actually just custom made this in Photoshop. Um, you can do whatever. That looks nice. I like that. Um I think we'll do the. I th I'm going to do this personally, but yeah, you can get the gist of it. You can just play around with it. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments. And if you can't do that, uh, just let me know in Discord. Uh, Zach13TV, hashtag 6360. And I think we're going to call that a wrap. And uh, yeah.